Welcome to the Lord for more. It's a freaking new year, you guys. It's 2022. And of course, I'm your girl, Renika Moore, and this is my lovely husband, Levi, Levi Moore. Moore. You know, Poo -poo. We're back at it for the uh, 2022 year. Yes, 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 yes. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited about this year. I'm super, super, super excited. And you guys, I, first off, I, we're going to do the more bets, as we always do. So this time, my husband's going to pull, and I'm going to pull. Mm, so let's see what the universe has for us. Let's see. We're taking a few traditions away from, um, you know, last year. You know, uh -huh. that's one of the traditions that we're going to continue to do. And I'm excited for it. So let's get it. The more bets. I'm going, for a, I'm going for a long one. All right. If you won the lottery, what would you do first? Wow. So you're talking about the lottery now because it's like $540 million. I don't Hey, know. the lottery okay. in general. Hey, it's free. Well, so basically what I would do is, um, you know, I would definitely take care of home first. I know that's maybe a little selfish, but I mean, I'm definitely no. taking <laughs> I'm taking yeah, care I don't of think home so. first, um, you know, getting my family out of uh, certain situations and, um, you know, of course, taking care of my beautiful wife. But my main focus would be, I mean, that is a focus, but my main focus would be taking care of um, less fortunate, mm -hmm. you know, um, people that are living in poverty and, and stuff like that. That is one of my biggest dreams is giving back. So the lottery would just take it off. Yeah, but just get us all started. That's what I would do. You know, that's, you know, that's just what I would like to do. I love it, and it's going to happen because <laughs> guess what? We manifesting and baby. I'm big on that, so it's going to happen, okay? Exactly. So, I'm going to hand it over to him, y'all. All right, so uh, my beautiful wife is going to pull one and see what she has. <laughs> Don't be nervous. I'm nervous because I <laughs> be off the wall with stuff. Okay, what's one thing you can't live without? Mm. Okay, I'm going to say two things. I can't live without God, of course. And... I can't live without my hubby, yeah, hubby. <laughs> uh, she, she'll make it. You know. She'll make it. <laughs> but you're like, he, he's my best friend, you guys. Right. He's everything. And you guys, I want to take this moment out to really, really say thank you to everyone who's been a guest on the Allure for More, who's ever supported, to all my subscribers. That's right. Give thank you, you guys, thank you, sure. thank you. And thank we you are all. going to continue to climb, continue to showcase and other talents, yeah. individuals, anybody who has a voice. It's not just about business um, people. I want you guys to know, like anybody who has a voice, this is just, it's an outlet, you know, it's right. a great outlet. It started off as an outlet for um, us to kind of just share what our passions were, um, outlet for me to just get uncomfortable with yep. speaking. And it's been a really a beautiful ride. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us with the Allure for More. I must say, I love I love the last edit video that you did with the oh. with everybody that you interviewed, uh -huh. and like it's kind of like a screen play by play. That mm -hmm. was like perfect, and like you don't realize how much you've done the last year until you put it in perspective and put it in a video. Yes. It's like interview, 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 interview. So hopefully we're bringing a lot of light to those businesses. And oh yes, for sure. I am definitely hoping it's bringing light to you. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I mean you're you're getting out of your comfort zone. You're you're for talking. Sure. More. You're getting involved with businesses that you normally would have never done mm -hmm. if you would have never just took that chance. So yeah, you know, again, thank for thank you for everybody that's been involved this last year. But we got a bigger year thank coming you. this year. I'm so excited, you guys. We are just going to continue to just share light and positivity into the world and just love and just you know we just we all climbing together it's all about collaboration mm -hmm. it's all about teamwork you can't get to where you want to go alone so i want to continue to build other people up and then hopefully you know the same is return um Correct. the same love absolutely but i want to say we are going to be cheering to 2022 not just for us, but for you guys too. But we're going to get into our intentions for the year of 2022. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Should I lead or should you? You want to go ahead uh, and take How about let's go. I'll say one. You say one. I Boom. Say one, you say one. Okay. Let's That's go. good for strategy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'll, I'll start it off. So um, one thing, my biggest goal for this year 
is to try to give back. Um, you know, me, I, I do have a job, full-time job. Um, you know, my wife's working on a lot of things, uh, becoming more, more lucrative. Uh, we want to start giving back to, um, you know, kids, you know, the younger generation. and Because, uh, baby, they need it. Exactly. They need it, for sure. The community around Karen Crow, Lafayette, um, even back home, Franklin. I don't want to forget about Franklin because if it wasn't for Franklin, we wouldn't be here today because it kind of molded us into the people that we're going to be. Mm -hmm. And we want it, yeah. Right. And, mm -hmm. I, and, and, you know, I see kids growing up that I've I seen earlier in their years, they're becoming, you know, star athletes, academics. They're going places. So I love seeing that, and I want those kids to keep it up. So I definitely want to try to give back. I don't know in which way. You know, whatever God allows me to do, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be reaching out to a few of you guys as well, you know, businesses and, um, you know, entrepreneurs and see what we can do together to possibly make this happen. I want to give back, um, you know, our time and, and, and connecting with the youth and connecting with the, you know, the less fortunate, you know, and kind of see, see what their uh, situations or circumstances and, and seeing if we can do something to make it better. So that's. That's what our focus is going to be on this year. Uh, Guess what? It's going to happen because exactly. we are manifesting and we are going to plan and kind of sidetrack a side note. We are going to be doing a vision, a vision board party this weekend mm -hmm. to really make sure I'm going to invite a few friends, a few, a few business minded um, individuals that we know to really make sure that we hold in each other accountable. Right. And that's important to you guys to make sure you have you're surrounded by people who are going to continue to build you up and continue to pour into you and as you pour into them and just hold each other accountable. Right. But uh, I would definitely say one of my goals this year is kind of w what my husband says, we're in, uh, aligning that, but definitely getting out more to connecting with other businesses, networking uh, more, and then finding a way to um, give back, you know, still like not just um my time but just also giving back um and if maybe I, um some tangible things are giving like connecting and doing like women's brunch or um different um power um because empowerment we're, we're, um event okay um so i guess my second goal for this year would be um traveling I mean, Ooh, yes. we're, we're in our early 30s, you know. Um, oh, we got to tell time. We got to tell our age, huh? Okay. Lord. All right. But, um, you know, the time is now. You know, time is now yes. to travel. Get out. You know, view the world. Um, so I definitely want to go out of the country at least twice this year. Ooh, okay, y'all. Uh, I'm about to be traveling. Well, uh, me. Oh, 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 okay. I'm just, Yikes. I'm just coming with you. <laughs> definitely coming with That's my plus one for sure. Um, so I definitely want to travel, um, you know, if I could bring family along with me, I would love to do that. Um, yes, if bring yes. and nephews again somewhere, I would love to do that. Um, so yeah, that's definitely another goal of mine this year is travel. Get out the country at least twice. And baby, we align, boy, we are aligned, <laughs> bro, because we, same thing, and we actually just already planning, man, planning our getaways, you know. Right. Um, another thing, you guys, that I'm planning, um, um, I'm praying to God. If God says it's going to be so, it's going to be so. I'm going to actually really launch my clothing line, my clothing line, my styling. I'm doing styling services now, but, you know, there's going to be a lot of increase. You know, I'm getting clients in now, and I'm praying that it, we just continue to grow. So that's one of my um, plans to really pour into that business. I'm educating myself, taking courses, things like that. Education is so important to me, um, learning. And to be honest with you, you don't have to spend money just to, you, you know, I'm not really one of those who book. truly believe that college is going to take you where you want to go. You have to put in the work. You can go to the library, get the books. You can go on the internet. Like, man, we have so many resources out there in this world. We just have to look for it. So um, I'm big on that, so I'm definitely going to be doing more of that. That's one of my goals. Educate myself more, reading more, less TV, because, y'all, I love my reality TV shows, but definitely that's one of my goals I'm going okay. to be working towards. We're clicking on all cylinders here, man. We're, we're right here. We're right here. Yeah, you know. That's exactly what you want to do. Yes. We did not talk about these before we started. So at all, at all. This we is are just definitely on the same page. So yes. Good. 
Um, I guess mine is going to be the next one. Yeah, we, we, we ain't going to overload you guys, yeah, but we're going to just do our three. You know, three. So, uh, I want to say, like, the last couple of years, I've been really getting deep down into, like, organic foods and, mm. and spices and, and good stuff for the body. And one thing that I came across the last couple of years ago is this book right here. It's from Dr. CB. He, um, he's a very, very smart man. Um, he's deceased, but he... Before he, before he passed, he passed along a lot of good knowledge. And I'm starting to try to use the alkaline method where you get your body above the neutral and get it more alkaline. That way, cancers and stuff cannot form in an alkaline body. So um, that's definitely something I'm going more towards. Um, I'm starting to cut out a little more meat uh, and stuff like that. So I hope you're on board with it, babe, because I'm going to be... Man, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing, y'all. No, but I mean, I, I'm going to start cooking a little more with... Um, I'm for it, y'all. Yeah, I'm for it. Vegetables and, and, and spices and yes. um, like nuts and stuff like that. So I'm absolutely whatever, for it. Whatever this book calls for, I'm going to try to follow it you know, as best as I can. Some of these um, recipes are kind of hard to get, mm -hmm. but um, there's places that I can get them. And I, and I know that other people can get them as well. So that's another, another goal of mine is to... Eat a little more healthy. And a side note, y'all. Now, we like to, you know, party. We like to have fun. We like to drink. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's our <laughs> little hiccup. But generally, like, our friends come over and they be like, oh, Lord, I know they ain't got no juice. I know they ain't got this. Because they consider our house a healthy house because we relatively are a little bit more conscious in what we put in our body when it comes down to food, things like that. Now, you know, we do, you know. We might go have like some Popeye's chicken every now and then, but that's very rare. Yeah, yeah very it's rare. Very rare. But we do going forward, I, I'm in alliance with you when it comes down. One of my goals is just to be better skin, wellness, whatever it is, mental health. You know, baby, I'm about to get snatched. You hear? You know it. Okay. So I, I will say though, before we get off topic with the diet, it's what you put in your body is what's going to exude out. So. If you're putting a bunch of nasty stuff in your body, like uh, Cokes, and sugary drinks in your body, a lot of red meats, a lot of greasy foods in Southern Louisiana, and I, he I heard it from a bunch of business uh, owners from your last 12 Days of Giving. Mm -hmm. Southern Louisiana, we kind of tend to overindulge, overindulge in some of the food that we eat. And the and seasonings and grease what we put and in. Stuff like that. So, Although it's good, it tastes very, very good, and we're not, we're not saints. We're not, we're not like yeah, 100 percent going clearly by any means, you know. But we do want to do a little better for ourselves and yeah. for our future kids, so we want to yeah. make sure we're here for the long run. Yep. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this, these are a few of our intentions, liar. Um, <laughs> one of our intentions. So these are our intentions for uh, the year of 2022. Right. We have way more um, hints our vision board party that's coming up. But um, I will be inserting um, just some intentions that you guys can read and affirmations. And so shout out to one of my friends who actually has an affirmation group and I'm part of that. Um, and we do affirmations. She typically sends out affirmations like every day. Um, and just writing those things out, starting my day off in the morning just with affirmations and getting my mindset and making sure um, my mind is in the right place mm -hmm. every day being intentional is so important in everything that you do so i'm gonna insert some 2022 intentions that you can possibly practice and write out and just live by for this entire year mm -hmm. you guys already know at the end of every episode of the low for more we got it we got something to celebrate you understand so we're gonna take a shot and mentioning shot glasses. Mentioning shot glasses. We do still have these shot glasses for sale. We have That's Right, You Got It, Shugs. And we also have a big energy shot glass. And we also have... Move with intentions. Move with intentions. So we're, we're not emotion. Positive. We're keeping it positive. Yes. So celebrate, these celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate. It's always something to celebrate. And in, in anything, you should be celebrating yourself. That's the major thing. So all you have to do, all the information on how you can um, pre-order... These shot glasses, purchase these shot glasses will be down below, okay? Yeah, so, um, I guess what I want to um, tell you guys for the toast is make sure you guys are giving yourselves grace for this this new year and just really giving yourself love. It, start, it always starts with yourself in order to pour back into somebody else, so. I mean, 
I'll second that motion. All right. Let's take a cheers. All right. Cheers Ooh. for 2022, guys. Hello?